Hi, I'm going to try to give a small tutorial on like entry level tapping with your right hand. Um, I'm not going to talk about more than one finger uh, because I would do you a disservice to do that at this point. So, try to make this quick. Um, you can use any finger you want. You can use your index finger, which is the thing I mainly like, and I put the pick just right there, or even right there sometimes. Or you can use your middle finger while holding the pick. I don't think that's a stable for me, but I definitely use it a lot, and guys like Greg Howe use it all the time. I like this, uh, you know, and you just learn to go back and forth in between those parts of your finger. Okay, anyway, so I put it there. A big thing with this, you need to put your thumb to stabilize right here. That's a big reason I don't like doing this too much. Although, I, like I said, I do it all the time. But if, if you're in a position where you can keep your thumb here, you know, where you don't, you're not going to have to use your pick a lot, you can keep your thumb here. It's very stable. The other thing is, if you watch Eddie do it, you know, you know, no criticism of Eddie Van Halen here, okay, so don't take this the wrong way. But he goes up. He, he sort of, when he comes off the string with his right hand, with his index finger, he's moving toward the ceiling. I move toward the floor because it snaps it off better for me. So he'd be going. And that's fine, you know. I do it better like that, just going toward the ground. So I think I'm going to be snapping off so, that, you know, you're coming down off of the string instead of up. It just, I, it's much more firm. I can keep this more firm, this joint right here, I can keep it firmer. And, and it gets a better connection and the string snaps off better and it just the legato is a lot better. For me. For me. Eddie's way works great for him. Okay. So you want to, at least the way I look at it, is pull off toward the ground. And, and, and try to get a good connection between... Your index finger, play in the back of the fret. Don't play in the front of the fret or the middle. Try to get right in the back of the fret. Same thing you would do with your left hand. You know, you always want to fret over as far in the, in the fret as, you know, as far in the fret as you can. Like right up on the fret. Not on the fret wire, but right up against it. Uh, and then you can just start, just start going crazy. Now, uh, <laughs> you know, do things like this. Like think of your minor pentatonic scale, like A minor pentatonic. <laughs> And then we're going to do the next pentatonic scale up, which would be the C major pentatonic. Same thing, same key, guys. Same group of notes. But you just play the back end of the, that scale with your right hand. And in fact, you could even, and, and you'll notice that's 10th fret the whole way across, except on the third string, you play the ninth fret. But actually, you could play all 10th fret if you want. Because that's an F note, and that's... If you're in A minor, that's the flatted sixth, or if you're in C major, that's the, the fourth, so it works. But the third, of course, is or it, the, of C is, is E, and it's the fifth of A. And that's right here at the ninth fret, so you can do that. So you can do a lick like this. It's all going down like that. Um, I'll make another video because it's getting too long. Uh, I'll make another one right now and explain that look.